Hello. <clears throat> Hi, everybody. I'm going to mute everybody. Um, and we're recording already. Great. Um, I'm going to mute everybody, but then you'll be able to unmute yourself if you want to share. Okay. All right, so we have one more minute to allow people to join. Okay, good. Good to see you. Hi. Hi, Hi Miriam. Hey. <laughs> Um, okay, so one more minute will allow, allow people to join and then we'll start on time right at eight o'clock. Um, and the oils that we're going to talk about today, if you want to grab them so you can smell them or experience them for yourself while we're talking about them, is grapefruit. The, the, we're going to talk about the oil of the month, which most of us probably have received this month, grapefruit. And then the special the promotion of the month is the immortal so i'm going to talk about the immortal and then i'm also going to talk about wild orange again we talked about it last week but we're going to talk about it again this week so um we're going to start it's eight o'clock so other people will join as they join and they'll it's recording so people can watch whatever they miss so um i'm going to just share the screen because i want to talk about the two events that are coming up first. So the first event that I wanna share, you guys should all be able to see this, is the European Convention Incentive that's just for doTERRA Israel. So it's only for people that are doing doTERRA in Israel. And I wanna just tell you what that is about. It's an incentive trip, so they really wanna get people to come to convention from Israel. I think it's also kind of their apology for making it the Shabbat before Shavuot. So it makes it really challenging for a lot of people to come. But if it's something that you um, feel like you could do and you'd like to get the help with it, then there's this um, incentive uh, deal going on just in Israel and you can earn so the prize is uh, the top 10 people in Israel that uh, win this contest you'll get a free ticket to the convention $500 um, and 250 points product points and how the how you earn points to be one of the top 10s is when you enroll people, wholesale customers or wellness advocates in March at a 100 point order, whether it's an enrollment kit or an order, you get three points every time you enroll somebody in March and in April. For each new person that you enroll in March and April, you get three points per person. And then when they go on an LRP, so the people you sign up in March, when they go on a LRP, the next month for 100 points, you earn three points. So minimum you have to accumulate is 35 points and then you're part of this contest. And then anybody that's 35 points and above, the top 10 people earn this prize. Um, so for example, we gave an example on the What's Up group that what does 35 points look like? So it would be five people in March you enrolled, that's 15 points and five people in April you enroll. That's another 15 points because five times three, so that's 30 total. And then um, let's say that all five of them that you enrolled in March um, went on an LRP in April. So that's 35 points. Um, so it's a big contest. It's a, it's um, you know, some, uh, moving forward at a faster rate than maybe most people are used to to actually win this contest and be part of it. There's a lot of benefits and advantages to it. One, you'll be building your doTERRA community and your doTERRA business because what, just the example I gave, five people in March and five people in April and then they kept an LRP in April, um, you'll earn the commissions off of that. You'll be um, growing your community and you win this prize. So um, 
nice incentive. It's nice that it's only offered in Israel, so we're not competing against the other markets in Europe. And um, just know about that. If it's not for you, that's fine, but pass it on to your team or anybody you think might be interested um, so that they can be part of it. Let's get it. So those that just joined, we just talked about this European convention. The call's recorded, so you, if you missed that first, first part, um, look at the recording. And it's about this um, incentive or this prize that you can win getting to a convention. And if the contest isn't for you, but you really want to go to a convention, um, email me because I can send you. I put together a page of what it takes to get there, how much it costs, airplane tickets. Um, I've gone to convention every year um, since I've been in doTERRA um, and since I've been in doTERRA Israel I've gone every year to Europe and it's um, an, it's a definitely an investment in your business but it's well worth it you surround yourself with lots of people in doTERRA that are successful it's amazing energy amazing people you really get to meet the executives and the top people in doTERRA and it really inspires you to understand why you're why you're part of this company and it helps with your why and your mission and your vision for yourself to see what kind of company you're really involved with um, okay so that's the convention let me just get that out and then the other upcoming thing that we're really really excited about is the essential oil wellness retreat in Naxalim. So this is coming up. It's April 26th and 27th. Um, we've sent out the Eventbrite link on WhatsApp and um, email to most of the leaders and most everybody. But get it to your downline. Um, this event coming up and register. The more, the earlier people register. If you register before Pesach please, then we can really get the timeline um, out there of what the presentations are going to be, what's going to be the timeline of those two days, um, and, then if, and then we want to have English and Hebrew speakers, but again, if like we have all English uh, speaking people sign up, then we'll gear towards mostly English speaking teachers, but if we have both, Signing up, then we'll have gam begam. We'll have both people speaking. Um, so go to the event by, by event bright link and sign up. I just updated the event by bright link to have the Hebrew version of it. Yay! So the event bright link has all the information and in, in Hebrew and in English. Um, I'm going to go back to the English version. So it's 500 shekels. Well, um, for the 26th and the 27th, it includes dinner, breakfast, and your room for two people. Um, there's going to be, I want to say, six, six to eight essential oil workshops. Um, again, we're going to try to really balance them out between English ones and Hebrew ones, possibly going at the same time. So English, uh, English speaking workshop and a Hebrew speaking workshop. Um, and then three different uh, yoga classes, aroma yoga, uh, expressive art workshop with essential oils, learning about emotions and essential oils and making your own perfume that you can go away with, um, evening yoga, maybe on the beach. I'm gonna teach that one, so I might, I might take it inside. I have to think about it still. We're gonna have live drumming, I hope, from the gals from the Demona and um, a morning hike, morning yoga with Esther Alfasi. I can't wait to do your yoga, Esther. And we want to have some teaching about nutrition as well. Um, and a, a possibly a vegan chef will be there. And then if es and Esther's going to be there too. So we'll have a lot of great input on exploring vegan options. So sign up for this event on the Eventbrite link. And um, I'm welcome. I'm exploring more topics, so send me an email or a WhatsApp if you have ideas for us. So that's the upcoming events that I want you guys to focus on and get it out to guests, 
this one, the wellness retreat, is not just for doTERRA wellness advocates or people that are already members of doTERRA. Invite new people to this. This is a fun way to build your business. Like, you're going to go to a beach, do yoga, smell oils, and invite people to it and build your business while you're in Nakshalim. Amazing. Okay, so getting rid of those. So the oils that we're going to talk about today is the free oil of the month. So stop sharing my screen. So the oil of the month is grapefruit today when you order 125 um, loyalty rewards order um, before the 15th, then you get the product of the month, which is grapefruit. And I was out of grapefruit. So I'm so glad that we got it. And how I love to use grapefruit is I do one drop in water. Get one drop in there. Oops, I got two. It's going to be nice and delicious. I usually stir it with a spoon, but I don't have one right now. So I'll use my finger. And I love to drink it first thing in the morning. Ooh, it's so yummy. And what's the amazing thing about grapefruit? Well, it's a citrus oil, so the oil is um, cold expressed from the rind of the fruit, or the klipa. And what grapefruit and all citrus oils have, so wild orange as well, it has um, a compound called limonene. L-I-M-O-N-E-N-E, -E -E, limonene. And this is a compound that naturally supports um, the production of glutathione. Glutathione. G L U T A T H I O N E. Glutathione. It's an antioxidant that's very important for our body to be making it, but it doesn't make it on its own. It has to make it with combinations of the chemicals and the minerals that we get from our food and specifically citrus helps to um, helps to helps the body create glutathione and grapefruit especially is one of the number one citrus um, that help the body do that but it's in the it's the chemical that's found in the rind so when you're eating grapefruit you're not actually getting that chemical from the rind so the essential oil is key and it's recommended um, in um, the essential oil world but I've also um, seen it in um, the medical herbal world as well is taking glutathione or things that help you increase your glutathione on a daily basis. So drinking one drop of grapefruit in water every morning on a daily basis is really important for producing glutathione. And what glutathione is good for is um, brain health and helping you to prevent um, uh, damage or oxidizing, uh, de um, what's the word I'm looking for, where you're um, doing over time our brain is slowly i'm forgetting the word oxidizing um, and so glutathione is an antioxidant for the brain and so it will help prevent dementia alzheimer's um, memory loss uh, confusion um, it just helps to keep the brain healthy and functioning at optimal le levels as you mature so take your um, Grapefruit on a daily basis, one drop a day is all you need. Another oil that produces glutathione is wild orange. So this is an oil that I diffuse almost daily or I include it in my oils that I put on my body so I'm um, smelling it aromatically. You, but you can also put a drop of this in your water if you don't have grapefruit and you have wild orange, put a drop of wild orange in your water and drink it. But I recommend getting the grapefruit. Make your 125 point LRP this month and you'll get the grapefruit for free. And then smell and apply your wild orange in your diffuser or on your body. And then the last oil that we're gonna go over is the Immortal. I love this oil. So this is the anti-aging blend. It has frankincense, Hawaiian sandalwood, lavender, myrrh, helichrysum, and rose. 
Did I get them all? Lavender as well. So frankincense, sandalwood, lavender, myrrh, helichrysum, and rose. So we joke around that this is the Beit Hamidash in a bottle. And it smells lovely. It's quite strong because it's not diluted. And this was, is uh, how you use this is daily, even twice daily, on your skin. So at night, after you've washed your face, um, I put uh, my, I use the Virage Skin Care, so I spray on the Virage Toner and pat that in. And then I do the serum. And then I do the lotion. And then I do the oil because we want the oil to stay on the surface of the skin and not penetrate so quickly. If you put it straight on the skin before moisturizer, or before your coconut oil, or before um, any of the oil that you put on your face, it's going to absorb very quickly and not stay on the structure of the skin. And the point of this oil is most of these oils, helichrysum, frankincense, rose, regenerate tissue growth. So it re it's, it's, Botox in a bottle, but much better. And um, so the, a wonderful way to keep the mature, the, your skin looking healthy um, and beautiful. Also, it has a lot of the oils in it have a natural SPF, like helichrysum, frankincense, um, sandalwood, all of those have a natural SPF. So it's a natural sun protection for your face. So applying it in the morning as well is, is important. So this is the free oil of the month, ladies and gentlemen, so amazing. It's worth 75 euros, so around 350 shekels, a little bit more. And um, if you make a order of 200 points this month, it's free. It's free this month. So if you can do it, invest in it and get it. An amazing oil. One last story with that is my son, when he was three, uh, fell and split open his hand on a piece of glass. And we did not rush to the uh, tarum to get stitches. I thought we could handle it ourselves. And we did handle it as far as we kept it clean and um, disinfected, but it did not grow back together. And so he had a pretty big gap in his hand. Um, and so we started applying the Immortal to it. And you could just see the tissue reforming from, a, from the very bottom layer on up, where he doesn't even barely have a scar. So if that can do that to a huge gash in your hand, just imagine what it does to those fine little lines on your face. So enjoy that oil. Okay, so let's get into the business of um, and the leadership of part of this call. So we are going to end a little bit early. We're going to end at 8.45 because following this call is the first ever Israeli doTERRA webinar. So the first doTERRA webinar for Israel, and it's going to be led by Penny. It'll be in Hebrew and in English. And there, I think there's also going to be some of the executives from Salt Lake City on the call as well, really talking about doTERRA establishing, establishing itself in Israel, the warehouse, Hebrew, all that good stuff that's coming, um, is coming really close, coming, coming here very, very soon. So if you can be on that call, it's going to be a long night, but if you can be on that call, it'll be, it'll be worth it. So we're going to end a little bit early. So the things that I wanted to go over tonight is um, the business model again, like you're on this call because you're interested in the business, you're interested in leadership and creating uh, a community of users of the products and also wellness advocates that want to educate and share and create a business with this. So when you have come to that side of, I want to really do something more than just use the products and then you need to identify what it is that you want to gain from this. And so I tell people, identify your first goal is um, do you want to get your products paid for? So you're using these products every month. You're paying for them, but you're getting enough commissions back that you're getting um, paid back for using them. Um, do you want to make an extra income, like uh, supplemental income for you and your family, maybe to cover the grocery bill or to um, 
pay for your car or the gas in your car? Uh, or third, do you want to make a career income? So it's important for you to establish now what your goals are. Maybe it's um, just getting your products paid for. Or I've heard some people say, I want to get my products paid for and then maybe make um, a thousand shekels extra a month. And then I've had people say, I want to, you know, eventually make 5,000 shekels extra a month and then keep moving up from there and, and it be part of our family's main income. So figure that out for yourself um, and write it down, what you want to do. And now we're going to talk about, well, how do you do that? Once you've set that goal, how do you make that happen? Um, so it's about building a network of people that this is a network marketing model um, and you need to continue to feel confident about that. And a network marketing model is you're building a network of people that believe in you and trust in you and wanna start using these products for themselves or also partnering with you and doing this business with you. So you're creating two communities, a community of wellness customers or wholesale customers and a community of wellness advocates that are educating and sharing it actively as you are or even more, which is great. Um, <clears throat> so let's talk about what it looks like and how many people it takes to get your products paid for. So I'm going to share the screen again. Let's go to share the screen and I'm going to bring up the model. Okay, so you should be seeing the compensation plan here. Move that out of the way. So I'm not going to go over the whole compensation plan. We did that last um, Zoom call, so you can look at that recording if you want to look at it again. But I do want to just have this structure up here when we're um, cover when we're trying to when we're um, going for achieving the goal of getting your products paid for and what that looks like. So here is you making your minimum of a hundred point order, which again one point is one dollar. So we're going to talk in points, but that's around $100 or 450 to 500 shekels after tax and shipping. And you, your goal is to get your products paid for. So that means that you're sharing this, sharing doTERRA and giving samples and telling people about doTERRA in some sort of active way so that you're attracting people that want to use the products as well. And when you have um, at least three, I mean, it can look all different kinds of ways. So I'm gonna just look at the way the model is really um, put together to keep it simple. So you have your 100 point order and then you found at least three people they can either be wellness advocates or wholesale accounts that are also on a hundred point order. They're going to commit to 450 shekels a month um, that they're investing in doTERRA products for their, their family's health, for their and their family's health. And so right here, when this structure is met, when you and your three people are at a hundred point minimum, but again, it has to meet 600 points for you to get this bonus. So maybe there's an extra couple customers or one, um, you guys are all making the 125 point order because you want the free grapefruit this month or the free product of the month each month. Um, still 125 by four is 500 points. So there can be some customers that are making one-time orders or maybe they're on a 50 point LRP that makes up the 600 points, then you're making a $50 bonus. So that's half of your order paid for, right? So you're halfway there, but you're also getting the enrollment bonus on them. So if it's their first or second month, you're making still 20%. Um, and, but if they're already past their first 60 days and they're just, you're just getting, you're also getting paid a percentage. The percentage on your first level is 2%. So 
on average, when it's you and these three people and, uh, and you're making the 600 point team volume, and you make the $50 and you make an additional, um, with the enrollment and the um, unit level, you're making almost 75% of your order back when you have this requirement met. So you're making around $75, 75 euros back. So it's 75% of your order back. But you want to get your whole order paid for. So you go to the next level. You're helping them to uh, create contacts or maybe they're not in it. They're not um, really creating contacts, but they're committed to making their 100 point order. So you found some other people that are interested, so you place it under them. But when you get this next level of their three people making a 100 point order, so it's a total of nine, plus these three people are 12, 12 people total that are on a consistent order and it can look any way. Some of them may be at 50 points, some of them may be at 100 points. But when these nine people are at 100, and maybe you have some stragglers over here that are at 50. This is 250. So I say, keep it simple. Make this your goal. If you want to get your products paid for, look for your three consistent um, gonna order wellness advocates. Whether they're gonna do the business or not, they know that they're gonna, they want to use these products and they're looking for their three, and when you get to this 250, your products are paid for, and well over, then you're making that extra income from maybe your petrol every month. Um, so this would be the goal that you're looking for to get your products paid for. It would also meet the goal for making that extra income. And, but if your goal is to make a career type income, then you're going beyond that. You're gonna start to help your three find their three and their three find their three and you are moving into the business model and more of a leadership to create that type of income. We're not going to go over the, the, the compensation plan in detail this time, but I want you to just get this structure in your mind and what you're um, looking for. The, um, the question that came up today at a workshop that we were at was, okay, you know, I, I roughly understand the structure and I roughly understand how you get paid. And, and I understand it all in black and white and on these charts, but how do I find those people? And this is a network marketing model, business model. You're looking to create a network and you wanna know what one of the hardest parts of this business, it's not learning this model and how you get paid. It's not learning this chart and how you get paid. You'll learn that eventually. What's the hard part is, is creating the network, um, creating the relationships, being confident in you being able to share and put it out there and how, and how you do it. So simply how you do it is you start reaching out to people and who are those people? So the way I suggested it today was making a names list. We've heard this a million times. I've heard it a million times in this business. Um, and and it, it really works. Like <clears throat> first, and so that's gonna be your homework, everybody, making your names list. And your, when you first sit down and get a big piece of paper and a pen, and you're gonna just write down people that you know. It, you're not even gonna think, I don't even want you to think about, is it right for them? Is this the right person? I don't want you to think about that at first. At first, it's just a conscious stream of thought, or unconscious stream of thought, where you're just writing down names of people you know. And they say that it should be 100 names. Can you write down 100 names of just people you know? Then you go back through that names list and you star who you think will benefit from these products and get it. Really understand like, oh yeah, this is a great product line. I'm interested. I want to hear about it. I would be open to using it. Just put a star next to their names. People that you feel would benefit from these products and be open to trying them. Then go through the list again and double star the people that you think 
would be open to hearing about the business and wanting to be a partner and on your team with you. And in those names that are double starred, think about why it is you're double starring them. What is it about them that makes you think they would be fun to work with, a good partner, open to this different way of working, this different kind of business? And, some of, and think about those characteristics and list at least three reasons, three characteristics that they have that you admire and think would be a great um, partner for you and your team. And then here's the part that you have to do. You call them. So the, after you've made your le names, names list and done your single stars and your double stars, and then on your double stars, you write your three characteristics about them that you think are strong characteristics that would be fun and um, strong, a strong person to work with. Then the next next time you're working on the, at the desk and that's hopefully the next day you're going to write down two of those names that you're going to call that day and today in the meeting Michaela Schmidt gave a great um, great advice which I think I passed on to her a long time ago is when you're sitting down to call those people you're sit, you sit there and you start to feel nervous like what am I going to say to them how am I going to start this um, it's going to feel kind of cheesy that I'm just calling and trying to sell them something. So one of the tricks of the trade is calling your upline first. So for example, if you could call me or you could call your upline, Michaela or Aviva or whoever it is, whoever your upline is, Shira, and say, I'm just sitting down. I have two names that I'm going to call and I'm nervous about it. But this is why I'm calling them. These are the characteristics that they have. And just have a work, a doTERRA work call, but with your upline. So it's easy to call them and it's easy to talk to them. And then when you get off the phone, you're going to be, you're going to be on this role. You're going to be motivated to make that call to that person because you just made an easy call. And now you're going to make one of those calls that maybe doesn't feel as easy. But once you're on that call, you'll see that it was easy. And then you can make the next call. And when you make that call, before you make that call, you need to know why you're doing doTERRA as a business. Because if you're doing it only for the money, then it will sound cheesy when you call them. You are calling them only to make a sale. But if you know that you're doing this for a bigger reason, like, you want to help people with these oils. You see how much it's helped you and how beautiful these oils are in your life. And you want people to have that same experience. You want to help people have better finances. You have to know why you're doing this. And it has to have a purpose behind it of helping and serving others. It can't only have the goal of making money. Because the how you make money is serving people and helping people. So last week's homework was why you're doing this and you're supposed to send it to me. And I think I've gotten two, maybe three. So you don't have to send them to me, but it's important that you do your why. And I would be happy to be your personal coach and make you accountable and send your why to me. And and then when you make those calls, you know what your mission is. You know what your vision is. You want to help more people um, feel the amazing benefits that you felt from these oils. You want to bring people to this community because there's all these awesome people and women that you're um, growing with and being around. You have to know why you're doing this. Um, you're finally getting your products paid for and you want to help other people do that. Like make those reasons and then call with those fueling you, that reason fueling you, fueling you. That's a hard word to say. So different ways. So there's your names list. Remember your homework this week is going to be making your names list. I don't want you to send me your hundreds names list, 
but you can send me a message that you made your names list and you star made your stars, your single stars and your double stars, and that you're going to start calling those people on your names list. Um, second way that you build this community that we're talking about is um, creating just um, having consistent action. So consistent action, I cannot emphasize that enough. Like I really feel that I became consistently active in the last two years where I actually sit down a few days a week in front of my desk for a couple hours and make those calls, make those emails, have doTERRA office time that I put in my Yoman, that I put in my calendar. Um, and when I started doing that, I saw a huge impact in my business and and a huge impact in my career income that it actually turned into a career income um so i lost my train of thought but the things that the oh, consistent action so the ways that i suggest consistent action is um and i've seen it over and over and over again how this helps people really build a successful community doTERRA community is um, hosting educational workshops and I've seen it work really well if it's in your home or your studio or your place and you choose a day of the week and it's and I've seen in the states people do it once a week I see that that doesn't work here in Israel I've seen that twice a month is a really good goal to make and so for example I had a woman who moved up to the status of elite in just a few months because every other Tuesday, so two Tuesdays a month at 11 o'clock in the, in the morning, every, every other Tuesday at 11 o'clock, she hosted a doTERRA workshop from her home. And every time it was a different topic like summer oils, winter oils, making your own sunscreen, cleaning for Pesach, making your own um, cleaning products, she would just come up with the topic, you know, that week, post it on Facebook or put it out on our WhatsApp group, invite people to her home. She'd just have tea and coffee and maybe one little simple treat, but not much. Um, and it just, the first day, the first time one or two people came, the next time, and those people ended up getting a kit and enrolling as a wholesale customer, they came two weeks the next two, in two weeks, they came to the next workshop and they brought people. You just saw this domino effect. And she really created a very strong customer, wholesale customer um, um, community, this structure that we're talking about. And this structure, she really started creating this structure just by hosting those workshops twice, two a month. And then um, in the, those people that were consistently coming, you can see who you can introduce the business to because, okay, they've come to two in a row and they're bringing people to them. Now it's time to say, can I talk to you about the business? I mean, you're coming to these events, you're sharing this with people. Let's talk to you. Let's sit down um, tomorrow or Thursday, if they came to the Tuesday event and talk about the business. It's so easy to take them into that next step. Um, my mentor in, in America um, did one every, every Wednesday night. Not so appealing to me. I wouldn't, I'm doing the Zoom call every Wednesday night, but I wouldn't, I um, wouldn't want to host something in my home every Wednesday night, but she did. And she went, it, def, it propelled her to diamond just consistently having a workshop in her own home so you're always showing up it's not difficult um, and it doesn't matter if only one or two people come every time but that consistency those one or two people are going to sign up when it's small groups they get that one-on-one -on -one attention or that small group attention almost a hundred percent of the time they enroll that night with the kit or that day with the kit and they want to come back to the next one because they want to learn how to use their oils. So my, um, my suggestion to you, push yourself 
this week to open up your calendar and start scheduling workshops that you're going to give. Don't depend on your upline to do it for you. You're going to do it and start sharing your experiences. What are the winter oils that you use for your, your family? And just share those. What are the oils that you know you like to use in the summertime against mosquitoes or sunburns or, and, and um, do a workshop on that? Do you make a cleaning product? Do that workshop for Pesach. Just keep it simple. Make it only 30, 45 minutes and the rest of the time is smoozing and smoothing and talking and chatting and eating um, and only present for 30 minutes. Um, so your goal is make your names list. Um, put, decide if you're going to do work, start hosting workshops from your home or a friend's home and commit to doing two a month and put them on the calendar now, starting after Pesach. If you're motivated enough, do one before, a cleaning one possibly, and then get two more on the calendar for after Pesach. Choose a day, is it daytime? Or maybe you wanna do the first Tuesday of the month during the day and the last Tuesday night of the month at night, but be consistent. Um, make that happen. The last thing that I want to emphasize is when you're reaching out to people that you want to um, approach and you're interested in them being a partner with you and maybe you're calling them about it or they've come to one of your workshops and they're inviting people so you, you invite them to sit with you and go over the business because you can see that they're make, doing the action steps to be a wellness advocate. Um, we're finding out, I've learned, I learned this this week, is that when somebody wants to talk to you about the business or you want to talk to them about the business, set it up so that, that it's, um, you're both in this business mind um, when you come together. Um, don't go to somebody's home and um, they're sitting in their pajamas and they're wrapped in a blanket and they're just kind of casually talking to you about business. That's not a strong um, way to present the business. If you were going to a uh, interview for a job opportunity, you would dress up, you would have a notepad and a pen, and you would um, and you would make that appointment. You'd be on time. You'd be enthusiastic. You'd want to make an impression, and. That's what we need to require from the people that we're talking to about the business. I suggest that they meet you at your home or they meet you at a neutral place like a cafe where they have to dress up and feel good about themselves and they're there to really listen to you and take this, um, this time seriously so that you're not wasting their time and you're not wasting your time. Um, I see that that's a much more powerful way to, to come together with someone and to present to them this business opportunity and a possible partnership. <clears throat> um, so the last thing that we're going to go over and then we're going to end kind of quickly, but I, but before we do this, I want to go, I'm going to go over lastly, what does it mean to be an enroller and what does it mean to be a sponsor? But I want to open this up and people can unmute themselves. I want people to share um, some of the creative ways or the ways that you're um, introducing doTERRA to people to either develop your customer, um, wholesale customers, or your wellness advocates. Um, have you made a names list yet? Do you call from that names list? Is that something that you're doing? And, um, or are you running workshops? Or are you giving samples? Can anybody share like something that they've started doing or that they are doing and that's working for them? I can start. Yay, Hadassah. <laughs> um, I make a point that I've been carrying in my bag the little samples and I've been focusing on the things that I'm passionate about the business when I share it or I'm passionate about the oils. And I've become much more selective too. I'm not looking to put everyone in my business because like you said, if you have that professional mindset, you know that there are certain skills and certain type of people who are more appropriate for it. 
but not too selective that you have nobody to talk to. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I like what she said. I've, I've been here. I've heard this before. Um, you have those little dram bottles. You fill them just with like, what, seven, ten drops, something like that of the oils that that are touching you right now. And um, and and you're sharing it with people, you know, just not someone necessarily random on the bus or anything like a like you told me, you shared with me that you shared one with a massage therapist that gave you a massage. Yes, yes. But I have in the past given it to random people. Mm -hmm. The problem with that is that I hadn't been smart enough to get a phone number. So then how do I know if it works? That's a silly mistake, but I'm learning from that. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. And the key is when you give it to like your massage therapist or the friend that you made in the yoga class that's next to you or or in type situations like that is you do want to have their phone number or have a relationship where you feel comfortable calling them and you say to them is it okay if I call you in a day or two and see you know see how you liked the oil that I shared with you and for you Hadassah you shared like an oil like deep blue for example because you know your, your massage therapist would know would want to use that and know and you were sharing it for a specific reason yes that's correct in this case yes yeah. and i'm also i'm also pushing pretty strong this wellness um retreat because i feel like there's something really powerful about those moments where women heal each other by being close yeah. by just being genuine by being transparent and it makes, it, it creates a courage that you might not have had were you not surrounded by women that were like-minded. So that's my other big one that I'm doing right now. Yay, good. Everybody share the wellness retreat. What a fun way to like be there, have fun for yourself and bring new guests that are gonna have fun and say, of course I wanna join doTERRA with you. This is amazing. <laughs> Anybody else wanna share how ways that they, um, make contact with people or share doTERRA with people that's working for them. I would like to say something. Yes. Hi, Iris. Hi. <laughs> um, since I live in a kibbutz community, uh, we are all quite connected through Facebook also. And uh, I saw that the way, even though I'm quite new in the business, and uh, yeah, I started to share a lot about doTERRA and I opened a Facebook page and I started to share about the oils and what I can do with them and the people started approaching me I see you have a new business here you started something new what is it about so wow. That's it's amazing. a lot of conversa conversation going on in the playground with the children and mm. yes and the uh, the areas where I felt I'm um, still a bit unsecure about, I just decided to do something about it. And uh, yeah, I'm starting to study aromatherapy on Friday. Yay, so. that's hilarious, amazing. Yeah, I love social media for that, especially social media that's connected to a community that you already know. Um, because if you're, sh like what you're doing is sharing educational pieces of doTERRA, like um, that's like, you're giving the service of free information to people by posting things on Facebook or a blog or, and then people come to you and say, Oh, I saw your post. And I really read, I really connected with how you dealt with that, with something with an oil. And I want to know more about it. It's so amazing when people seek you out and they're seeking you out, Iris, because you're giving over this, free beneficial helpful information through facebook and then they want to know how to how to benefit from that and get those oils what a great way Thank also you. i did it uh, just a, a small point about it uh, i also thought it's a good way that since as i get to the point where the business is starting to take off i already have a facebook page that is full with some information and it's not something completely new Right. 
Good. So you can, and you can send new people to that Facebook page and then it has information that they can look up. Really smart. Mm -hmm. And face, Facebook's like pretty user friendly. So and everybody could do that. So Facebook page, a page, I totally recommend people doing that. I have a Facebook page as well. And I don't do Facebook so much on a personal level, but I do a lot with a business Facebook page. And I get a lot of people coming to that page and asking about doTERRA. And it's, it's great working with um, when you feel like you don't have any more people to reach out to, then people are coming to you. Anybody else want to share something? Iris, do you have anything else to share? No, that's all. Thanks. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Anyone else? We'll take like one more share if anybody, because I mean, it's so beneficial to hear from you guys. Like sometimes people are like, well, Tara, you're doing, of course you can share easily because you're, do, you're, 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 it's easy for you. You've been doing it long enough. So that it's really, really powerful to hear from um, you guys, how you're doing it. I can share. Yay. Ariella. Hi. Hi. Um, so I'm also fairly new to the business. And so what I've been doing that's successful is having classes, um, both in my home and also out in the community. And I have classes sometimes at a health food store where I sold oils to and, um, uh, yoga studios. So I'm having a class tomorrow night in a yoga studio and another yoga studio found like saw a flyer on Facebook and she called me and asked me to give a class in April, which is pretty exciting. Yay. Um, yeah. So slowly I'm building up this really nice community of people who, and I think what you said, you know, giving something in your home every two weeks and just being really consistent about it will also help. Mm -hmm. And um, so classes have been really um, not necessarily successful in terms of my selling. And what I've done to help that along is to um, really study the business part of it now. So I'm using a lot of my time to, you know, learn how to close a class successfully and looking on YouTube over with people who are successful in doTERRA. And that's been giving me more confidence and I'm taking notes and just really treating it seriously. And so I'm excited to now move forward with all these classes and see what happens. Um, but definitely the classes and using, um, using Facebook a little bit too, um, to get my name out there, and then just sending individual emails to people uh, or uh, WhatsApp to remind them of the classes and really making it personal really yeah. helps. So important, so important. Um, I'm glad you emphasized that. And you'll see that in the share brochure. Everybody, when you decide that you want to give classes, and please decide you do, um, look at the share brochure in your packet, or you can get it at doterratools.com. And it talks about that, exactly what Ariella said. Like, people really, if you just send out a massive email, you, you're not going to get as big of a response and it's not really about the numbers but it's about getting people there that are that are going to come and personal whatsapp i love whatsapp for this personal messages on whatsapp and um making it personal like hi my dear hope you're doing well i'm having this class i hope you can come i'll remind you on tuesday if you can you know like making those just quick notes to people and then reminding them the day of or the night before is so important and people appreciate it because they'll say they don't think you're nudging them or being a nudnik. They're like, Oh, I'm so glad you reminded me. I wanted to come and I would have forgotten. So that's great. Great. Ariella. Amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Work. And then you don't have to be a professional speaker to do it. Just share from your experience, especially if it's in your home, it can be informal and, um, you know, have a topic. So you stay on topic, but, um, and just choose three or four oils and then use the rest of the time to just have people ask questions and answer questions. And then exactly what Ariella said is you don't want to keep hosting educational workshops for the next year and not having any results from it. So you do want to know, you do want to have like a vision of, I want to close with people joining with either a wholesale account or a wellness advocate account. And I want people to walk away with the home essentials kit or the, at least the family essentials kit. So you always have to close at the end. You can't just close at the end like, okay, well, that was winter oils. Thank you guys for coming. 
you know, you have to close with like, it's really, you know, being serious of like, well, you know, this is in how you use these oils and how you get involved in these oils is the enrollment kits. So next week, cause we're running out of time, we're going to end next week. Um, next week we'll go over what an enroller and a sponsor is. I'm going to take that off tonight's agenda and put it on for next week. And we're also going to talk, I'm going to take you guys through a class. So, um, it's going to be, I'll go over, um, I'll share the screen with the handout, handout that I use and what I go over on the handout. And then also it's going to include how you, you know, a general class, it's going to be more of an educational class and then how you close with the kits, with the enrollment kits. So that'll be, that'll be next week. Um, and then we'll talk about sponsor and enroller next week. So remember your homework for this week. Um, if you didn't send me your why, um, your homework's racking up. So do your why. Um, you don't have to send it to me, but if it feels like more accountable, if you send it to me, send it to me. And I will look at it and respond. I have some homework because I need to respond to some of you guys about your why. Um, send me your why, why you're doing doTERRA, what your, what your mission is with doTERRA. And then make your names list. Don't send me your names list, but make your hundreds name list or 50 names list star one star if they benefit from the products and two stars if they would make a good business partner and three reasons why and that's going to be the people that you start calling to make um, appointments to appointments with or inviting them to a class um, so so amazing you guys so if you can go on the webinar tonight it's, it starts in five minutes so it's um um, follow the link on the email if you haven't registered and want to be on it tonight if you already registered then you should have gotten the email with the link that you just hit that will take you to the webinar it's going to be in five minutes um, there's 13 people on the call tonight thank you guys for coming and making the time to be here um, I love these calls I love that you're on them and um, have a, an amazing night. And I'm excited to see some of your, these same names on the webinar. See you in four minutes. Bye. Good night, you guys.